Moines Civic Theater is celebrating 90 years of bringing quality theatrical performances to area audiences. And up next is Jekyll and Hyde, the musical. Billy Dawson plays the roles of Jekyll and Hyde and joins us now. Hi. I, I can't imagine <laughs> how difficult this is. It is very difficult. Most, it's the most physically demanding, vocally demanding, and emotionally demanding role that I think I've ever played. And for anybody that's played this role, probably. Yeah, because there's no real... It's not like Phantom of the Opera where you put on a mask. No. Right? I mean, no, you're no, no. you with... I'm me. Yeah, there's no costume changes. There's no makeup changes. It's me. It's instantaneous switching back and forth between Dr. Jekyll and then Mr. Hyde. And I'm there all... There's... I think we counted and they're icing 19 songs just by myself. So, yeah. Wow. I keep busy. <laughs> I don't know this show. So, I mean, it is scary. Yes. It's not meant for kids. Not meant for kids. Yes. And it is a musical. Absolutely, it's very much musical. Um, Th those two things don't seem like they go together. <laughs> Musicals typically are over oh, the top they fun can, and they happy. Do. And, okay, sure, good. This isn't Disney. The last right. thing I did at Civic was The Little Mermaid, which I had a great time. Same director, actually. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, definitely not for kids. It's the story of Dr. Jekyll and his quest to separate the two forces inside of each man, good and evil. Um, he is denied uh, to use a living human being for the subject of the experiment, so he's forced to use himself. When doing so, he unleashes the evil Mr. Hyde upon the world, and show tunes abound. <laughs> uh, tell me about uh, some of the costumes. We just saw some of the pictures there, and uh, they look spectacular. Yeah, this is Angela Solly. This is her first production with the Fort Wayne Civic Theater. She's the new full-time designer with the assistance of Shelley Englehart. Um, it is... I feel incredible in her costumes, mm -hmm. and I get to sit backstage and watch for a little bit and look at these costumes. They're beautiful. Um, the overall design is very much gray tones with a bruise palette. Um, with pops of color into costumes here and there, and it is incredible to look at. And a period. Oh, very much Victorian. Yeah. Very much Victorian. All the girls have their petticoats. They were trained how to walk in them. Mm -hmm. Yes. They, all in rehearsals, actually, they had their petticoats just so they could get used to it. Wow. Yeah. That's uh, it's so fascinating. And again, the uh, show opens... Tonight. Tonight. The shows tonight. It runs through um, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, this weekend, and next. Tickets are going fast, so get them while you can. Mm -hmm. um, this is a show you do not want to miss. Now, it's rated PG-13 per the director, um, but I say if there's kids younger than that and the parents or guardians feel that they're capable of coming and seeing it, I say bring them. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, is there a moment that you can... I don't want you to give anything yeah, away. No spoilers. But is there a moment that you really, really like about playing <sighs> Jekyll and Hyde? Each of them have... I have my favorite songs for each role. Um, but you have to come see what those are. I'm not going to tell you, mm -hmm. but being Mr. Hyde is probably my favorite because you get a lot. You t I get to take out a lot of aggression in this show. <laughs> um, but it's, it's an incredible experience. I have an amazing team around me um, from the floor crew to the cast to the creative team to the guard at the door. Everyone is on the same team. Everyone's there to help tell this story. And it's an incredible experience for us and the audience. Yeah, this isn't one of those where, you know, typically, okay, it's a musical, so I am assuming there's some sort of happy ending. I don't even know how <laughs> this one could end. Oh, I again, can't I tell did, you. I didn't read, I feel uh, left out. I'd never read the classic short story. Yeah, there's you know, a strange was, case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Uh, it's, it's not the happiest of endings. Okay. I can't say much more don't without spoiling more. Yep. it for you. Um, but yeah, it's not the happiest of endings. Yeah, uh, and uh, again, in the quick time we have left, I know that the sets are, are yeah, intricate. Designed by Corey Lee, the technical director there. They're very intricate. Um, it is Victorian-esque, and you, there's the sense of deterioration. I could say that word right. Mm -hmm. um, as Jekyll deteriorates into Hyde, it's kind of to symbolize that. And Corey Lee has done... He's brought his A game, as he always does, but this is this is it. This is exciting. Yeah. I think that everything uh, you guys are doing this year, the 90th season of uh, the Fort Wayne Civic Theater, has uh, been, uh, well, so far, two for two. Just, yep. you know, home runs. Absolutely. They uh, took good care of us. Get <laughs> tickets while you can at 260-424-5220 or online. You see fwcivic.org. Get them while, uh, while you can. Opening night uh, is uh, obviously September 8th through the 17th. Jekyll and Hyde. We'll be right back on Insight.